Hey, what's going on guys? I'm Ryan. Welcome back to another video. Hope you guys are doing absolutely fantastic. In this video, let's have a look at this Bowmaker Cinema 500 Max projector. This is a native 1080p projector with a very, very low price tag. Check the link down below. I'll try to get a discount coupon for you as well. This one has a contrast ratio of 10,000 to 1 and 250 plus ANSI lumens. So guys, without any further ado, let's put it to the test. Let's go to the living room, see what this projector is all about. Let's go. And here we are guys. So got the projector here. Check the unboxing by the end of the video. Let's go straight to the test. We got the box. And of course, like we normally do, we're gonna test the brightness and the fan noise. We're gonna play some samples from a USB stick. And of course, we're gonna plug this projector to the TV box and later on to the PS4. Like we normally do, we're gonna project on that white wall. Nothing too fancy as some marks. So like a normal scenario without any any screen. So anyone can do the same, the same thing at home. So let's turn this on. Okay, so the projector is now on, nothing too fancy. It's right there, as you guys can see. So I'm gonna adjust the camera here. So I'm gonna put on the screen the distance from the projector to the wall and how big the projection screen is at the moment. This is the main menu. So, and the first two things you see there, it's the cast. For example, on the iPhone, just go there, iOS cast just press that button and you see the Bowmaker Cinema and there you go guys you are mirroring straight away I tried with Netflix uh, you won't be able to screen mirroring Netflix but uh, anything else you'll be able to like uh, photos from your iPhone. Let's now try the Android. For the Android, we're just going to use Miracast. You'll see the Bone Maker Cinema there. And as you can see, the lag, it's not, well, there's basically no lag at all. Hello. It's the Queen's dogs. <laughs> You Quite see cool, this right? Potato with these short little legs. Okay, so with the mirroring functions out of the way, on the landing screen, as you can see, you got movies, music, office, and photo, and you got your HDMI uh, inputs here. And here on the settings, you'll be able to change your Wi Fi settings. You got the 2.4 in the 5 GHz band, Bluetooth settings. On the image settings here, you can change the projection mode, keystone, and digital zoom, so you can make the screen smaller or bigger. So this is quite handy. There's a dedicated button on the remote control. You have your four-point keystone adjustment as well. I think it's worth mentioning that I already did a system update, so quite cool. Uh, they are releasing firmwares for this projector and running the latest OS. Okay, so let's do some tests here with a TV box, in this case, the Mi Box 3. With this card, you can see, like we normally do with this, all these videos, the primary colors, red, blue, green, and yellow. And we can see the scale of grays there, so full black, full white. So let's go closer to the screen now. And this is my hand for size comparison. Quite massive projection, guys. Here, Normally, this type of projectors tend to get blurry on the corners of the screen. So let's see if you can read the words on this one. Should I be able to read subscribe there? Yeah, kind of. On the red one, should be able to read like. Let's move on to the other side. Subcri subscribe on the yellow dot there, and I think it's share, but it's completely blurry. So yeah, it gets blurry on that corner there. In here, YouTube, Ryan IWK. It's not too bad in here, you can see some thicker lines, not too bad at all, and some thinner ones. In terms of colors, guys, I'm very happy with this. Very, very saturated colors. The contrast is not too bad and the sharpness is there apart yeah, from that corner there, it's, it's blurry. 
On the remote, you got a dedicated button so you can adjust your settings for the image. At the moment, I'm using the lightness one. Next, let's have a look at the colors. This is a color test video I did for you guys. On this one, you can see the reds and the greens on the parrot there and a bit of yellows on the beak. Let's go closer. Yeah, guys, colors are amazing, for, <laughs> especially for this price tag. Wow, and the sharpness there. It's quite cool. This is the fur of the cat, black and white fur with the blue eyes there. Skin tone, quite cool. Yeah, guys, I'm impressed with this projector. So far, so good, apart from the blurriness on that top right corner. And here you can see the palette of colors. Yeah, I can see a bit of, um, it's a bit pixelated there. Now let's have a look at some basic colors. Careful, the screen will flash. Yellow, pure black, pure white. Of course, the camera is trying to compensate, struggling a little bit. But yeah, guys, it's not too bad. Let me pause here in one of the colors. Normally, uh, we get some darker spots on the edges, but so far for this one, it's not too bad. Of course, you get the, the center bit a bit more bright, but so far, I think, I think it's really good. Next, some motion test videos, and we have some sound here. Comment down below what you think about this projector. Okay, for the next test, Excel spreadsheet. Some of you might use this for classes. In here we can see the detail. Well, it gets a bit blurry to be honest. It's hard to read the, the text, guys. I must tell you that's a bit blurry there on the top corner as well. It can be used for classes, but if you use small text, you're gonna struggle a little bit. Let me move to this side. And here again on the top right corner, uh, it's readable, but it's a bit blurry. I need to be honest with these reviews. It's not bad, but it's not the best either. Okay, so for the next test, let's turn the lights on. So this is completely dark room. Lights on, on the side of the wall. Yeah, it's not too bad. I thought it was worse. Turn more lights on. Now we got that one there as well. We lost quite a bit of contrast, as expected. It's not just with these units, even some more expensive units to get the same thing. Yeah, guys. Um, yeah, we we'll lose the blacks. We'll lose quite a lot, but yeah, the right way to do it is turn everything off. And yeah, now we're talking. <laughs> Next, let's see how loud the fan is. So let's grab the room noise with the projector off. Around 36. So the projector has been on for a while and now we are more or less, say, a meter away. Right next to it. Yeah, it's not the loudest, as you guys can tell. We tested some <laughs> louder projectors on the channel, that's for sure. And when you're playing something, you, uh, you won't be able to hear the fan. Of course, if you're quiet, you can hear it. But it's not the worst we tried. In terms of brightness, we got this device here. Of course, it's not the proper way to test the lumens. What we're going to do, we're going to put it there on the wall, like we normally do with all the projectors, put it on the white spot and see how much we get. Got 99 there, yeah, around 99, 98. So we can use this to compare with some other units we tested on the channel. 9,000 there, 8,000. Of course, if you want to watch a movie, this is a proper way to do it. We all work together, but always remember, the reason we learned karate 
is to show the world that you're not a bunch of pansy-ass nerds. Hey yeah, guys, so far for the test we've been doing, I really think this project has some nice quality, as you can tell here. Oh, it looks good on camera. Okay, next let's try to play some files from a USB stick. In this case, just go to movies here. 1080p file. And it's playing all right. Okay, next one. Okay, 4K H.264, not supported. You can hear the sound, but no image. Again, another 4K. 720p, it's fine. And it's playing without any issues. As I let you go, but the head-to-head -head double difference. Funny enough, this is a very heavy file, a .ts file, and it's playing all right. Okay, guys, let's test how loud the speaker is. A meter away from the projector. Let's go all the way down there. The sound of the speak is not too bad. It's loud enough, of course. The quality is not great, but it's not too bad. Let's put it that way. Ideally, you want to connect it to a sound bar or something similar, but overall, I think it's not too bad. Okay, so next, let's play some games on the PlayStation. Yeah, guys, proper way to play games. I don't notice too much difference of playing here in terms of input lag or the TV. Not too bad, guys, not too bad at all. Again, you can see the colors here. They pop a lot, they are vivid. Contrast is good, saturation is good. In terms of input lag, like I said, I don't notice. I don't think there's a lot. All right, guys, so let's wrap the video overall. I think very, very good unit for its price tag. In terms of colors, contrast, and fan noise, not too much to report there. The speaker quality is good enough, and you got the screen mirroring on the iPhone, and Android which worked quite well yeah guys not too much to say very good unit of course there's some limitations you got the blur edges there but apart from that I can't fault it that much especially if you take into consideration its price tag I'm gonna leave a link down below probably with a discount coupon for you guys to have a look at guys if you enjoyed the video click the like button and consider subscribing. Thank you very much for your support. Like always, thank you very much for watching and hope I can see you all in the next one. Okay guys, so here we have it. Cinema 500 Max bow maker there. 1080p there on the sides. And on the back we can see a few specs here. 1080p, it supports dual Wi-Fi band. 2.4 and 5.8. Multi-touch button, Bluetooth 5.0, low input lag. So let's see what's in the box now. All right, so this is everything you get in the box. Power lead, HDMI cable, user manual, warranty card, and some other paperwork. You got the adapter for old RCA devices to 3.5 mil jack. Standard remote control. And you supply your own AAA batteries in this case. Of course, the Cinema 500 Max. Just remove the lens cover. Plastic. He has this brush aluminum effect on top. Of course, this is all plastic. I don't know if you guys can see it on camera. And the touch buttons. Let's just peel this off. All right, so this is basically everything you get in the box. Let's now have a look at the projector itself. 
So on the front you got Bowmaker logo there, infrared receiver and the lens. Moving on to the side you get your focus dial, like so. Bear in mind this projector has a full point keystone adjustment. You got this filter here on the side, this should be the intake. You got a dust cover, you got this filter, pretty cool, let's just leave, leave it there. And it does say please clean the dust cover monthly to avoid dust accumulation. Try to keep that in mind. On the back you got the power in, a logo for the 1080p HDMI, infrared receiver, two USBs, headphone jack, AV port, two HDMIs and this should be the, the opening for the speaker. On the side more ventilation, got some ventilation there as well. At the top, as we've seen before, you got these touch buttons. Nice. And at the bottom, you got this screw to raise all over the projection. Got a sticker with some specs. So if you remove the rubber feet, you got the screw for the mount. Love. 